I wasn't even prepared. Check, check, check. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Good afternoon, Humber! Come on, I said good afternoon, Humber! Thank you, I'm Mark Breslin. I'm CEO and founder of Yuck Yucks, the world's largest chain of comedy clubs. But that's not why I'm here today. I'm here today because we are going to find a great entrepreneurial idea, and we are going to find a great financial partner right here at Humber College. So are you ready for Dragon's Den, the Humber edition? Okay. So, my Okay. My financial partner today is the president of Humber College. Please welcome Chris Whitaker. <laughs> welcome, Chris, and thanks for having me here. Thanks for having us all here. Thank you for being here today, Mark. I hope you found the place easily. Well, actually, um, I wound up at North Campus. It's a long story, but, you know, about three blocks away, there was a great shawarma restaurant, so it was okay. Okay, then. <laughs> well, I'm really sorry to hear that, uh, but I'm definitely happy you're here. Good. Uh, because our first and only entrepreneur of the day says that he has an idea that you specifically may find interesting. Wait, there's only one guy? <laughs> yes, uh, and apparently he's all you need. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chuck Peters. Hey, hey. What? Hey, guys. Hi. Hey. Hey, dragons. Dragons. Happy to see that you're not uh, real dragons. <laughs> That's just a joke. Okay. Yeah, uh, not to say that you're not good at your job. Anyway. Oh, God. Uh, hi. I'm, I'm Chuck Peters, and I am from London, Ontario. Uh, and I studied fine arts, of course, in Paris, Ontario. And, uh, uh, but don't think of me as just a regular Joe Ontario, because I have an idea that uh, will change the face of comedy in Canada forever. I call it Chuck Chucks. <laughs> A chain of national comedy clubs that would span the country and feature live stand-up comedy six nights a week. Huh? Yeah. No, I, I, I don't think we're going to want to be interested in that. Uh, are, are we? No, no, hold on. Let him finish. Oh, yeah. Finish. All right. Wait, Chris, are you serious? Uh, okay. now, <laughs> see, not only is my name Chuck, but Chuck Chucks is a perfect name for this comedy club because it's short for... I get it. Chuckle Chuckles. Hey, yeah, see? Now you're yeah. getting it. There we go. I like this guy. Well, no, right. we're not doing this idea. I mean, I don't want to toot my own horn, but frankly, it's been done. Well, see, that's the best part about it is that this is a totally untapped market. For some reason, this does not exist yet in Canada. Somebody Wait a minute. Up. That's not true. Huh? What about my clubs? Well, well, hold on a minute, Mark. This, guy, this guy's got something. Don't you see? Yours is a comedy club, whereas this is more of a comedic club. Mm, see? And to be honest, say, for the longest time, I thought you were in the uh, business of gross foods or something. Yeah. I mean, yuck yucks. Yeah. That's the sound of laughter. Uh -huh. It's the sound of someone eating Brussels sprouts. Yeah. <laughs> Mark, let's face reality. I'm sure tons of people step into your club expecting to be grossed out. Yeah. Yes, but not from the food. Okay. Well. <laughs> Chuck, what yeah. do you need to get this thing off the ground? Oh, that's, what, that's almost the best part. We have so many uh, famous Canadians that are already super invested in the idea. You name it. Jim Carrey, Norm MacDonald, uh, Jeremy Hotz. How did you uh, get all these people? Well, I mentioned it to them, and they seemed extremely interested. <laughs> but they're all millionaires. They don't need you. Well, uh, no, I mean... Oh, no, uh, Jim Williams and Carrie Smith, uh, and, yeah, Norman MacDonald, uh... Jeremy Hotz with a silent Q. These are all guys in my a cappella group, and they're super into the idea. Uh, they're almost too into it, to be honest. It's a little weird. You don't have this kind of influence here. Who do you think you are? Uh, Steve Bellamy, Dean, School of Creative and of Performing Arts? Whoa. I'm proud of myself, but I'm nowhere near that guy. That guy's on a whole different level. What a guy. Yeah, I like your idea, but nobody can touch Steve. I agree, yeah. I agree. And I why would you think I would be interested in this? You said I would find this specifically interesting. Why? Yeah, yeah, stage time. Are you not Mark Marin, the comedian? Looking no! For... 
Oh, wait, who are you? What are you even doing That's here? That's enough. Oh, wow. Just just get out oh, of here. Geez. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to have wasted all your time, Yeah, everybody. well, you did. I, uh, I, hold on. How about an idea for a sketch comedy and improv theater that could launch the careers of many and have its own spin-off TV show and have a training center and theater on Mercer Street and we'll call it the Third City. Now that I like. Yeah! It. A big thanks to Chris. <laughs> big thanks to Chris. Ah, a microphone that works. A big thanks to Chris and Mark Hallworth. Let's give them a big hand. So good afternoon and welcome to the grand opening of one of Humber's newest buildings, the Center for Entrepreneurship. My name is Mark Breslin and I am pleased to be your MC for today. It is an important day for the college as we open yet another fantastic new facility and celebrate more opportunities for students to develop their skills and knowledge they use as they embark on their careers. Now, Humber has always in its own way supported entrepreneurship and as an example, I think that any college that has both a funeral director program and a floral design course understands the importance of synergy. <laughs> Humber is important to me for several reasons. A few days ago, in 1998, I had the good fortune of helping to found the comedy writing and performance program, and I'm still involved today as chair of the program advisory committee and producer in residence. And I like to think I know a little bit about taking risks following your dream, working with mentors and investors to develop a successful business. In 1976, 40 years ago, we opened the first Yakex in the basement of the Church Street Community Center. And though our little club has grown to more than 15 locations across Canada, each one is still rooted in the fundamentals of innovation and entrepreneurship. So let me tell you what entrepreneurship means to me. I grew up in the 60s when business was a dirty word. It meant conformity, a cubicle, a gray flannel suit, and a gold-plated watch at the end of your run. But when I was 24, I started my own business with a comedy product that had never been seen before. And I realized that entrepreneurship is the cutting edge of business. It's all about the new, all about freedom. It's about making people's lives better. Of course, I didn't realize that in rejecting the world of nine to five, I'd be working nine to nine and more. So let's get down to business. In a few minutes, you'll hear from Humber President Chris Whitaker, MPP Peter Milchin, Councillor Mark Grimes, Ignite President Ahmed, Ahmed Tahir, and from Courtney Kuhn and Faria Islam, graduates of the Humber Launch Program. First, some housekeeping notes. For our guests, we've taken care of the most important thing, Wi-Fi. Just connect to the Welcome to Humber Network, click the Guest Wireless Access button, accept the terms of use, and click log in. Easy, right? Okay. And since you've gone to all that fuss, you might as well tweet away and guilt all your friends into not joining you at this party by using the hashtag CFE welcome. I hope you've all had a chance to have a drink, something to eat, refreshments will continue to be available after the ribbon cutting, and the other important note if needed, the washrooms are in the basement. Please use them, thank you. After our ceremony, there will be a self-guided tour of the facility. Make sure you have your passports. Once your passport is complete with a sticker from each area you visit, drop off your passport and pick up your gift bag as you exit. All completed passports will be entered into a draw for two tickets to the Drake concert on Saturday, October 8th at the Air Canada Centre. Winners will be announced tomorrow morning and will be contacted directly. We begin our program with a few words from the president of Humber College, Please welcome me, please join me in welcoming Chris Whitaker back to the stage. Well, thank you very much, Mark. And uh, seriously, we have lots of opportunities for you to invest in Humber. So, and, and thank you for all your support over the years. Good afternoon, everybody. It's a great pleasure to welcome all of our colleagues and guests with us today on this fabulous day as we celebrate the opening of the Center for Entrepreneurship in this fabulously restored G building. I want to particularly recognize uh, today that we have Brian Gray, Chair of our Humber Board of Governors, and several other members from the board here, so I want to welcome them today.
As I begin, I want to recognize that Humber is situated on the traditional territory of the Ojibwe Anishinaabe, who have traveled along the Humber waterways for centuries between First Nations communities throughout the upper and lower Great Lakes region. This area will forever be known by the Ojibwe people as Adobagok, the place of the black elders. We know it today as Etobicoke, home of both of our main campuses. So as you know, we're in a very historic building. We're preparing people for the future. We're doing this out of a, a historic building here. Now, some of you know the history of uh, Building G. Uh, when it was closed, it was the administration office of the Lakeshore Psychiatric Hospital. The building in the complex, complex itself, uh, itself uh, went by various names throughout history, but it was originally opened in 1889 and closed in 1979, the Lakeshore Psychiatric Hospital. So we did uh, sit on very uh, historic property here, and we're absolutely delighted that this, we're completing the last of the cottages in terms of uh, restoration. Also, for history buffs and uh, perhaps movie buffs, uh, you know that this building uh, specifically is famous for appearing in the Police Academy. And I know there's a few of you, the movie Police Academy, the first one, there's a few of you here that are old enough to know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> and most recently, uh, we had the, uh, the cast and crew here for the filming of Suicide Squad for the newer people in the audience. So you, you probably are aware of that as well. So lots of history in this building. So the reimagining of the building uh, and the Center for Entrepreneurship, which, which led to this uh, celebration, actually started about, about five years ago. Uh, and the restoration process was completed within the past couple of years. So in about 2011, uh, Ronnie Dottywall, our VP here, led a group of architects and designers in discussing potential uses for the building. So there was a charrette and other uh, activities to do consultation. And among the leading ideas that emerged was the idea to create an incubator uh, facility that would house office and meeting rooms to provide really uh, uh, programs, uh, an opportunity to bridge uh, students uh, with faculty uh, to external businesses and entrepreneurial activities. So that idea came out of this uh, the charrette and the research that was done in 2011. So when you take uh, that, that vision and you combine it with our mission at Humber of developing broadly educated, highly skilled and adaptable citizens to be successful in careers, significantly contributing to the communities they serve locally, nationally and globally, this has led to the completion of this wonderfully restored and renovated building. So congratulations on everybody involved, to everybody involved. The CFE, as we call it, is dedicated to making Humber a provincial leader in providing entrepreneurship training and opportunities for all of its students, graduates, and community members looking to start their own business. The Centre, a collaboration among the college's eight academic schools and virtually all staff departments, is dedicated to teaching and learning. Our approach is unique. Rather than providing infrastructure in return for financial benefits, the CFE provides educational and foundational support including mentorship, seed funding, networking, and access to space and technology needed to turn an idea into a successful business venture. As you'll see in the tours following the program, spaces in this building include a focus group facility, a media production lab, a computer lab featuring a 3D printer, and of course, this multi-purpose event space, all of which are available to our students, faculty, and staff. The CFE is home to Humber Launch and will host the Launchpad Pitch Competition along with events including the New Venture Seed Fund Contest, Startup Workshops, the Launch Your Big Idea Contest, Awards and Appreciation Nights, Pop-Up Shops, and I know that's just the beginning. There'll be much, much more. So in closing, I would like to take this opportunity to thank specifically a number of people who have helped realize what the G Building could become. First of all, Ronnie Dollywell, our Senior Vice President, Planning and Corporate Services and CFO, and Ronnie's here. Scott Valens, Director, Capital Development. Our partners in the project, PCL Construction, Moriyama and Tashima Architects. Our project manager, Francis Grabowski from Tyree. Goldsmith Borgel Architects, our heritage consultant. Also, Peter Medot and the work completed through the CFE Steering Committee. I know Peter's here. Wanda uh, Biot and Patricia Morgan, the co-chairs of the G Building Steering Committee, and all those who contributed to the work of that team. Let's give them all a huge round of applause. <clears throat> 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 
Congratulations and thank you to everyone who has contributed to this wonderful project. We have much to be proud of, and I look forward to the many success stories that will emerge with the support of the CFE. Thank you once again for being with us today. Now, as I leave the stage, I'd like to introduce a video from Deb Matthews, our Minister of Advanced Education and Skills Development, who can't be with us today, but brings greetings on this very special occasion. Thank you. Good afternoon, I'm Deb Matthews, Ontario's Deputy Premier and Minister of Advanced Education and Skills Development. On behalf of the Government of Ontario, congratulations on the official opening of the Centre for Entrepreneurship. The Centre will add to Humber's already strong reputation for excellence in post-secondary education. It will also help you push the boundaries of leading edge training in our province. And your timing is perfect. Our economy is rapidly changing. And to ensure Ontarians succeed in the new economy, we're looking for new ways to encourage and support innovators and entrepreneurs because we know they will become the business leaders of today and tomorrow. As you know, becoming a successful business leader doesn't happen overnight. It takes great ideas, top-notch skills, and a lot of courage. It also takes having the right support and the right conditions at the right time. And that's where Humber's new Centre for Entrepreneurship comes in. It will help Ontarians learn and refine the skills they need to make a difference. With that, I would like to wish everyone at the new Centre of Entrepreneurship all the best for a very successful future, a future full of great ideas, dedicated teachers, and inspired students. Have a wonderful afternoon and enjoy the ceremony. Thank you. Thank you, President Whitaker. Words I hope I never have to use. Thank you, President Trump. <laughs> and uh, if you like Deb Matthews' video, I really recommend you go on YouTube and see her cat videos. They're a hoot. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, he made a mess of my notes. Where are we? Uh, yes, here we go. Um, now, I'm, in, I'm pleased to introduce you to a fellow entrepreneur. Before he entered politics, our next speaker founded and led his own architectural and design consulting firm. Please join me in welcoming Peter Milchan, the MPP for Etobicoke Lakeshore. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, President Whitaker and members of the Board of Governors and uh, Councillor Grimes, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is a uh, great honour and an inconvenience to be here with all of you today. Um, but uh, there was not very little traffic, so I was able to breeze down really quickly to come back home uh, to the Lakeshore to share in the festivities today. Uh, today is uh, a reason for us to celebrate on a number of levels. As, uh, as a Mimico boy that I am, uh, I'm immensely thrilled that the last building uh, of the old heritage buildings on the Lakeshore Hospital grounds is finally renovated and completed and will be used again. As a Mimico boy and as a representative of, uh, for Etobicoke Lakeshore, I'm also thrilled that we have such a tremendous partner in Humber College. For decades, We've thought and debated and struggled and, and pondered how we're going to revitalize the lakeshore. Well, one of the best ways that the lakeshore has been revitalized has actually been the presence of Humber College, your students, your staff, and the tremendous investments that you're making both in the physical facilities here, uh, but in the opportunities that you create in our community. That's another reason to celebrate. But the specific reason that we're here today to celebrate the grand opening of the Center for Entrepreneurship is an example of how the key pillars of our strategy uh, to build Ontario up are, are being made real. The first one, of course, is investing $160 billion in infrastructure over the next 12 years in roads and bridges, public transit, and in educational facilities like that, like this. But that's coupled with investing in people and their skills. And this is uh, the best example of how that investment is going to make Ontario stronger. 
we will be investing uh, starting uh, next year in free tuition for hundreds of thousands of Ontario students so that no bright person who has the drive and the ambition will ever have to choose between food and rent and an education. Education will be available to them. And those people will be able to come to places like Humber College and, and other uh, institutions and develop those ideas and those skills. And those of them that have that entrepreneurial spirit, I'm sure will find a great home here. And they will be the ones who innovate, who create the new products, the new ideas, the unique services that are gonna create more jobs in Ontario, more and more prosperity. So this is a very tangible example of how our investments in bricks and mortar and in people are gonna make Ontario much stronger. So thank you to Humber for your tremendous vision in developing this. I have a, a scroll that I'll present to you, uh, Chris, and uh, it is just uh, such a thrill that uh, you've brought this tremendous idea to fruition. Thank you, MPP Milchin. Our next speaker uh, also knows a little something about entrepreneurship as the founder of the logistics firm MGA International. But you may know him better for his tireless work in municipal politics. Welcome to Ward 6 City Councillor Mark Grimes. So, Mark, so two Irish guys, they walk out of a bar. <laughs> Never mind, forget that. Sorry. What a great pleasure to be here today uh, for another exciting announcement with Humber College. Uh, I have the proud, uh, um, I'm a new Toronto boy. Peter's a, a mimical boy, I'm a new Toronto boy. Growing up on these grounds as a, as a young lad, my grandma was a patient in some of these colleges. I tell Wanda all the time, what a great transformation it's been to see this happening. We have two more exciting announcements. I wanna jump ahead of myself, but you look at the welcome centers you come in today, absolutely really transformed the entrance into these grounds and it's, it's fantastic. The athletic center, that's coming down the pipe. Uh, really, really exciting for Etobicoke Lakeshore, and, and, my, and my friend Peter Milchin commented on it. It's part of the transformation of Etobicoke Lakeshore. And I do want to thank Ronnie and Scott for all their hard work. There's lots of things going on, on these grounds, how it all works together. It's important. But Wanda, Biot, you've been fantastic to work with. Uh, Wanda is out there in the community. Humber College is out there working with our business. She, she's at, our, our, at the table for our joint BAs every morning. But if you look at the Lakeshore now, the new flags that are all now on Lakeshore, Working with Wanda to make that happen has been fantastic, but it really, really is exciting. Uh, I did go to Humber North um, as, a, as a young lad, took hotel and restaurant management, but I think I spent too much time in CAPS. Is that still open up there, CAPS? <laughs> but look what happened to me, I became a city councillor. But it's just, it's fantastic. And I, and, I, and I now say to my good friend up there, the Deputy Mayor Vince Grisanti, this is turning into the flagship of Humber College, but uh, they work very well together. It's awesome. You can be a young boy here, young, young, a young girl here, and go from your, your kindergarten all the way through your education. And one of my sons is doing that, Colin, who's taking the golf program here. He's loving it. But I'm looking forward, uh, forward to more announcements. And I want to thank our friends at the provincial government who's been funding Humber College uh, inside note, and I uh, hope that continues. But it's, just, it's a great partner in Etobicoke Lakeshore, and I can't wait for it to continue. And uh, so, Wanda, congratulations, Chris. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Grimes. I'm looking forward to hearing the Irish joke later. Humber Center for Entrepreneurship will support student entrepreneurs as they fuel their creative sparks. Our next speaker and his colleagues do the same in all aspects of Humber student life. Please join me in welcoming Ahmed Tahir, president of Ignite. Thank you, Mark. Uh, I just want to begin by just talking about how impressive this building is. I know, I, I know that not everyone has been able to go inside the building yet, but I was able to do that last week through a tour, and I think by far it is one of the best buildings I've ever been in, and you guys are really going to enjoy it. I think it's 
so impressive to see um, just how much work and dedication was put into that. And I think it's really fitting that this is the center for entrepreneurship because you can see inside that building how many different complexities were probably involved in creating that building to make it usable. And those kind of thought processes are the same kinds of thought processes that we need to have nowadays to solve all the issues and problems that we face around the world. So uh, I just want to give a hand to this building. And once you guys get in there, I think you're gonna really going to be blown away by how amazing it really looks. Um, I, think, I think beyond that as well, I am so proud to be at an institution that not only recognizes but also reacts to the belief that uh, the learning happens not only inside the classroom, but everywhere. And we're seeing it through the new spaces that are being built all over Humber campuses, that that type of learning happens all over the place. And the types of conversations that will happen in this building, whether it is, in my favorite spot, the top loft floor, which is just so chill. Go up there, listen to some music, do some work, check that out. Um, those conversations are going to, I think, eventually lead to improvements on the campus, in the city, uh, in our country, in our province, in our world, and that's really what this building is all about, taking students' ideas, their dreams, their, what they want to do with, uh, with their life through business, through entrepreneurship, through entrepreneurship, and, and making that a reality. And whether you're a student who, who is just starting with entrepreneurship, you have an idea, you want to get started, or whether you have a business and you really need to get over certain roadblocks that you face, coming here and having a space and environment for that kind of dialogue, I think is going to be so powerful in helping students overcome the multitude of issues that you have when you're uh, trying to solve problems through business. Um, lastly, I'd just like to thank everyone for being here today. I'm really excited to go back in there. And, and if anyone wins a Drake ticket, like, I would love to come with you. And there's two tickets. Hopefully, I can smooth you after, and we can, we can go together uh, this Saturday. So thank you. All right. OK. Thank you, President Tahir. Our final speakers are Courtney Kuhn and Faria Islam. They are Humber Launch graduates whose company, Declutter and Coco, provides professional organizing services to homeowners. Please welcome Courtney and Faria. Hello. So you shouldn't focus on why you can't do something, which is what most people do. You should focus on why perhaps you can and be one of the exceptions. Steve Case, co-founder of AOL. To all of you here today, we can tell you that has been an ongoing theme during our education at Humber. We were taught to think outside the box, take risks, and step outside of our comfort zones. The quest to become an entrepreneur is not for the faint of heart, but Humber has given us the tools to make that into a reality. I'm Courtney, and this is Faria. We're the founders of Declutter with Coco. Let us tell you about our journey to becoming entrepreneurs. So we had heard of Humber Launch, now known as the Center for Entrepreneurship, back in our second year from Professor Yusuf Yusuf um, during a business case assignment. <laughs> um, he encouraged us to compete with our business plan in the New Venture Seed Fund and Launchpad competitions. For those of you who don't know, the New Venture Seed Fund encourages near grads or graduates to submit their business plan for the opportunity to receive up to $10,000 in funding for their business endeavor. The second competition hosted is Launchpad, which is Dragon's Den style. It allows students and alumni to win a share of $40,000. We competed and successfully won both competitions, totaling $29,000. <laughs> the process and the journey, however, was an arduous one. It required many sleepless nights, strict time management, and continuous learning on top of our final year of studies. In a nutshell, Declutter with Coco is a professional organizing service that teaches people new habits to maintain a clutter-free space. People these days have dreams of a minimalistic, Pinterest-perfect home, but with no idea how to achieve it. We come into your space, whether it be a home, condo, office, man cave, you name it. We want, to, we want you to be able to focus on the things you love and not the clutter in your homes. The business school played a huge part in our success. Without the knowledge we learned from our professors, we know we wouldn't have gotten as far as we did. Our education gave us a solid foundation that allowed us to implement the expectations for both competitions successfully. 
The competition offered us many opportunities. We got the chance to receive feedback from several industry professionals, learned how to give effective elevator, elevator pitches, and were challenged to narrowly define our business, just to name a few. Ultimately, we were given experiences most entrepreneurs wouldn't get before graduation. The most beneficial component, though, was the mentorship component. Our mentor, Steve Bang, has been invaluable. He has guided us throughout the competitions, never fails to give us honest advice, and has been our biggest advocate in the Humber community. Thank you all for coming out today to support the opening for the Center for Entrepreneurship. Your presence here today shows you understand the importance of fostering young minds. By supporting initiatives such as the CFE, we help create spaces for entrepreneurs to flourish. I implore all of you here today to take up the torch to champion for young entrepreneurs and help build the pillars needed to ensure their success. It is essential because young entrepreneurs work and dream. We are risk takers and trailblazers. We exist to innovate. Not only are we creative and productive, and might I add, daring. Humber students work hard, we give back, and we pl play a vital role in our community. We are future entrepreneurs. We are Humber. Thank you, Courtney and Faria. I look forward to inviting you over to my uh, house where you can help me clean up my five-year-old's Lego collection. Just before we get to the final part of our ceremony, on behalf of Humber, I am pleased to have the privilege of recognizing a number of individuals who have helped make this afternoon's event come together. Please join me in thanking Marissa Tomasi and the members of the CFE Opening Planning Committee. Mary Cantisano, Jessica Tattersall, and the School of Social and Community Services, and all of our student volunteers. My friend Mark Hallworth of Vesta Friends for the Hawk's Nest Sketch. At the back, the trio from the Bachelor of Music program, Wesley Collett-Taylor on bass, Jeremy Ogro on keyboard, and Luke. Saul Milligan on drums. <laughs> School of Creative and Performing Arts on the CFE for the gift bags. <laughs> You'll clap more after the gift. You get the gift bags, probably. Humber's Marketing and Communications Department. <laughs> School of Applied Technology and the Greenhouse for the Beautiful Plants. Only 47 more thank yous to go. The Lakeshore crew, Rick Follert and the security team, Scott Skinner uh, and the facilities team, and Jason Larcombe and Katie Evans and the Chartwell's catering team. <laughs> Rob Vivers and Beaudry for donating the tree to be used in this spring's tree planting ceremony. Lori Bradford for donating the Drake tickets, yes. <laughs> Peter Madot and the CFA team for, and Darren Lawless and the Applied Research and Innovation team for their support and guidance. <laughs> I'd now like to invite all our speakers to cut the ribbon to signify the official opening of Humber Center for Entrepreneurship. Yes, that's right, but we're going to keep lowering it. I'll even sing it if you want. Three cheers, hip hip, hip hip, hip hip. Thank you ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the formal part of our event. Please continue to enjoy the refreshments, take a tour of the building and remember to fill out your passports and submit them to be entered into a draw for prizes. I've been Mark Breslin, thank you.